Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination. Oh my god, what's so different here, right? What is different? That's right. Char's finally off the floor using a table, a different setup. Let me know if you like this setup better. I know my body does. <laughs> my body is going to thank me for all this. Now, you might be wondering how I'm going to, like, this is my fabric mark fabric. The panels, and I will show you this, um, for cutting out the garment. I love that this is pre-printed on here. That's great. That To me, that's fantabulous. Let me move the mouse out of the way. Um, now you may be wondering, what am I using for a liner? This is a little sheer. And the only thing I really have close enough is this liner right here. I know it's a flesh tone. Don't come at me for that. Um, but that is what I have. So as soon as I get to cut out these, and this does have sleeve on it, so I may either leave this one sleeveless for the first one that's right I said the first one because there is actually enough on here for two garments now the length of this would be the length for a dress or a long tunic shirt um, it's muggy here today in NJ let me go over there and get my water so I am however super duper excited to be able to have a setup like this when I'm cutting fabric. Absolutely. It's been so strenuous on my back and my legs. Like a leg, my left leg, truthfully, you guys, my left leg had locked up on me earlier and I couldn't, I couldn't get up. But does it look like that's stopping me? Um, I got up on the other sofa, not this one. The lower one that you usually see me sit on. And um, went and just like sat there for a while. Took a good breath. You might be wondering what I'm doing here. Like, You know what you can do with like... The weighted things from fat, not fabric, but from Sin City soaps and candles. I do this sometimes. You guys might think it's a little awkward, but you can take, and this will make your garments smell good. You can take these, use them as your fabric weights. At the same time, everything smells beautiness. Um, so anyway, then, uh, I started making an ottoman early, <laughs> earlier. I wish I would have been able to like finish that. So anyway, I'm going to use this as the liner. So as soon as I'm done uh, cutting this out, now either I can leave the piece here in between these for the in-between, or I can use this. But I was thinking, okay, I have the other panel up this right why not take this and make that into the back panel for the other one and I, you know I'm really trying to think out of the box for these but at the same time I actually really and seriously want to put pockets in the garment I want to put pockets I love pockets these pants don't have a lot of pockets it has pocket here, here, and one on the back. Never put your phone in your back pocket. That's the worst thing possible. <laughs> um, phone clip here or pockets in the front or pocket on the side. Best place to put your phone. Do I have something on? Yes, I do. Um, this is so muggy here today. And the air is on. I shut off the heat because I don't need that right now. Um, so even if I do go ahead and leave this part on here for the side, 
I'm not sure I would have the same for the other side, although we can check and see. I mean, we do have this, but then we can measure against that. and see if that would be enough on the fold, if that makes any sense, enough on the fold. Pretty much um, for both sides, yes. For both sides, absolutely. Um, but I'm thinking, do I want white down the side? I could do white down the side, but like I said, I wanna add in a pocket to this. So when I go to stitch, I'm just going to like clean line stitch. I could be do an off color pocket. Don't stare at this for too long, trust me. I can do an off color pocket and just like put it in the front right here. Um, or even take one of the sleeve pieces. And here's a bright idea for this. Do your um kangaroo pocket on the front right with little spots to it like I did on a shirt to uh, actually have extra so what I'm really gonna do for this is just like split it up on the side leave some seam allowance always leave your seam allowance and um, the measurements to this I think are close enough for me and I really want that pocket piece. So, you're like, I thought you said, yeah, I do. We're going to come over here, start over here. And we're just going to go ahead and cut off this excess fabric that will indeed be put away. And at the same time, I'm actually cutting my seam allowance for that other piece. Think about that. That's actually very logical to do. For that piece. And at the same time, just like pull it, bring it up on the table. It's not going to take much. Just take a rocket scientist to figure this out on your cut. Um, this is a very stretch and slick fabric. Sorry, I'm kind of out of the picture at the moment here, but my butt isn't. <laughs> I got a big butt and I cannot lie. So, okay. Yeah, I can show you guys what I have here. Like I said, I have sleeves. I have three. Um, so you can literally take one of these and think about that. You, you, look, there's enough there. You could literally make a top piece out of that, like, serious. But do you see how sheer that is? I want you guys to just see how sheer that is. And then you have another piece here. And is that long enough for a dress? Absolutely. So, put that over there. And now we can get to this. Um, so what do I want to do for this? Um, first of all, I just want to do this. And I will re-hem this through here uh, when I'm ready to do that. And I'm kind of right now really glad I'm using this soap as a fabric weight. I really am kind of glad. And like I said before, let me tell you, let me ask you, tell me, <laughs> Flip is, um, if you like this setup better for me because I'm not hurting myself with my spinal condition and my epilepsy, so I'm not really straining myself, then maybe I can be able to do more on my channel and um, bring you guys along on the sewing journey of suchness. You know, I always try to be really cheery on my channel. I love doing that. I just love trying to be cheery. And um, I 
maybe in somebody's day, you may need somebody to cheer you up, right? Yeah, you may need, a, you may have needed someone to brighten your day. So bring your fabric up on the table like this. Make sure you're going to get everything smoothed out. And, you know, I really have to thank Sin City Soaps and Candle for their, like, now you know my other use for these. <laughs> they're so, they're just so darn pretty. Um, and like I said, I'm just using these for fabric weights. I don't know how many of you did never thought about using, like, your good bars of soap for a fabric weight. You're probably like, wait, what? Yeah, that kind of weight. <laughs> and uh, also some of this fabric that you have left over, you can use a stretchy pocket. Absolutely, you can use it a stretchy pocket. We'll completely figure out my setup here soon, like how I need the camera opposed to, and I'm going to end up changing up like my camera and stuff very soon too. So you guys know I have my GoPro, I just haven't utilized it yet. Yep. There's heat being pumped into my room instead of coal. And I can't, I can't do anything about that right now. No. I have to uh, let my friend know to check the thing and make sure somebody didn't put it back on heat again. We've been having that issue. Somebody thinks they're sneaky. <laughs> making the rest of the house suffer. That's not good. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that kind of nonsense. Nope. I'm going to have to smooth that so. See, like, that's so easy just to do. take that and then this is what we're gonna do <laughs> you're like thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut down on the side I'm really debating on just keeping the white on here or go ahead and cut it off and um but I am cutting the fabric today we'll go ahead and just cut that white in between fabric off that this is printed on and uh, I can't stare at this fabric for too long and you're gonna like spin in a room upside down with Jesus toast don't even ask why I say these funny things <laughs> but I just try to make your day Jesus toast what am I thinking Jesus toast Kind of funny. So we'll just bring this one over here. Now I'm debating do I want to keep that in between fabric or not? Probably not. Because I'm afraid that it might stain too easy. You know what I mean? Just put that back down as your fabric weights. And, um, you know what, since I've decided not to keep that, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this to a certain point. Because I know I'm going to need a certain amount for the, um, hemline. 
I know, I should have cut this piece off first, but you know what? I don't think I'm really that worried about it because, um, yeah, I'm not really that worried about it because I'm going to bring it back out for pocket with the other fabric that I have. Put that up here. The other fabric that I have, and uh, everything should be fine. Yeah, it's a good stretchy fabric. It's a nice uh, spandex quality, Lyrica. Remember, like early uh, '80s spandex, very very stretchy. That's what this is like, and they just call it Lyrica. <laughs> it's spandex. <laughs> and I like it. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. So, um, yeah, unfortunately I still can't pause this. Or I would. Um, so I'm just going to cut this panel. I said I really can't look at this fabric for too long. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not from a standing point. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> kind of funny. Like, you would think that you could look at a horizontal stripe all day, but if you're up on it cutting it, no. You can't actually, like, stare at it the whole time that you're cutting it. If that's, like, an issue that you have. I'm like thinking to myself, like, wow, this is going to be all psychedelic in my, in my sight. Because <laughs> it's kind of going that way right now. And the stripes that don't match up at the bottom, don't even worry about that because you can tuck that under. And that's the other reason, like, I'm looking at this from a distance. Let me take off my glasses. Maybe it won't hurt my eyes as bad. <laughs> and um roll that under and do yourself a rolled hem which would not be a bad thing on this but then again when I go to do my lining fabric um I'm going to just put that lining fabric to a specific point Put that underneath because what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do your traditional just like da da da. No, I'm going to match a lining fabric with this fabric, stitch it together on the underside and then stitch it down because I know I want pockets in here. And then when it comes down to that pocket piece, um, I'll sew the pocket here and here if I want side pocket. The one thing you have to remember, if you are putting in a front pocket, like I said, like a kangaroo pocket, you have to remember to get that pocket sewn on before you do any other sew down the side. You must put that kangaroo pocket in. That's key and it's easier, much easier to deal with than, um, uh, not doing that at all. That's what I found. I did that with the shirt and I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to put this pocket on? Wasn't exactly the best, but you know, I got through it and it was okay. I'm just going to quickly turn this fabric instead of reaching too far. Just like, turn your fabric. Lay it back out. I mean, it's a nice fabric. I love the the feel, the light feel of this. Just like, it's nice. I'm actually really glad I got this. Um, I have until the 20th of next month to get this garment finished, but I would really like to, again, put myself outside the box and try to get this done probably this weekend. Probably this weekend. Get her done. <laughs> right? 
Oh, and I'm so excited for my cremated palette to get here. Um, uh, I know y'all are going to come at me for that. But I am very excited for my cremated palette to get here. Because I know within the um, history bounding community, <clears throat> historically, the only way that they had specific colors was from plant life. And that by itself is considered a pressed pigmentation. A lot of y'all might not be educated on that. And uh, I'm willing to educate you. I saw Rich Lux's video on his uh, PR that he got. Yeah, like, dude, that is so awesome. The only lippy that's in my stuff right now is Drug Lord. But it's such a pretty white. And you can do eye looks with it. Now, if you remember, uh, historically, the Europeans used a lot of white in their makeup. Their eye looks, their lip looks, their everyday look. They basically had white. So I'm going to say historically, Jeffree Star went with something kind of historic, but named it something. <laughs> I'm not going to hate on him for the name Drug Lord, but... <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's not necessarily a name I would have picked, but... It's his product. A lot of people don't like his potty mouth. I find him to be kind of funny. Um, but okay, let me show you this before I like pass up from stripes on the table. I'm not gonna pass up. I just want to show it to you. Um, how long this will be? And the reason why it's going to need side. So you only really have like two of these for one garment. And then you have one for another garment. And you have three sleeves. And the rules to this is 50% of the fabric has to be in the garment that you're making. So definitely I'm going to cut this out. You know, cut the other one out. And then we'll be done with that part. Throw that scrap over there. I love saving my scraps for specific things. I think you guys know that by now. Um, <laughs> I really do. I love saving the scraps. Oh, let me just put this here. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful for the history bounding community. Uh, you guys are awesome. Then I am getting into a different part of the beauty community that's not so bougie. Some of them can be bougie. Uh, but I'm not going to be around the bougie. The bougie of your whatever. I don't have time for that. You know what I have time for? Life. Time for life. I have time for life. I have time for living life. Live life to the fullest. Or you may miss something. Put my glasses down too. Like, look, there's like a little pile of stuff here. Oh my. Like I said, I don't know if the heat's on instead of the cool air. My friend is like, oh, it's so hot. And I'm like, sure, it's the outside that's hot because, like, the inside of this house is muggy as a sweaty butt crack. I 
And this might be taking a little long to cut today. And I apologize for that, but I gotta get the job done. You know? Scrap pile. <laughs> Definitely just going to get the job done and then give my eyes a rest. Because, dang, this is stripage. Chocolate amber soap. Smells so delightful. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, this is the oatmeal milk honey with fragrance. Oh, but the fragrance is butamous. And the emerald soap. I don't know what Wayne and Nicole doesn't make that doesn't smell butamous. Like, serious? Uh, yes. Yes. Now this is almost cut out. This is not taking me that long and I'm so happy because I know I have to sit on the floor. <laughs> Who was it that's still sitting on the floor? Oh, um. Oh my god. Annika Victoria is still sitting on the floor cut out stuff sometimes like girl serious get yourself like this is one of those cheap plastic folding tables but I'm gonna tell you what it's now my fabric cutting table and if I put a cloth on here then it'll also be my uh, ironing table absolutely Oh yeah, I was talking to the ladies from Fabric Mart. I told them Angela Clayton shops there, but maybe they just didn't know her channel. Maybe you didn't write it down in the book, sweetie. They'd love to have YouTube creators in there. I don't know why we get treated different than everybody else, but they'd love to have YouTube creators in there. Um, let's see. VidMom was supposed to do a meet and greet this month, but that got canceled due to you all the whatever. Whatever. There will always be another day for that, right? That's what living life to the fullest is all about. Living life to the fullest. I may just walk along the, uh, this part of the table to cut this. But I'm like, I'm not really too, too darn worried about this part. I just need to get it cut in the correct mathematical uh, measurement that I need. Yeah, a lot of people don't think about that sewing as math. Oh, yes. Sewing is an instrument of math. And I love it. Okay. So, like, I have both panel pieces now cut out. Take my soaps up here. Smell them. Anyway. Because <laughs> they're fantastic. They are really fantastic. I just... My dragon egg still hasn't been open. That's for a whole other video. So, um, now when it comes down to this, okay, we have both pieces in which I'm going to turn this way. Actually, I should say this way. Facing each other, so why the heck did I even turn that, right? <laughs> And then just go ahead and pin your pieces together when you're ready to do that after you cut out the other piece because like I said you know I have to get the lining done for this and what I want to check first before I do that because this is kind of important you want to see how these panel pieces match up are they the same panel and if they are the same, and you don't have to worry about which one are you going to lay on 
your liner um, for this. Oh yeah, I think they might be the same size. Uh, and um, yeah, I think they might be. And then uh, when you're done doing that, then uh, trying to match that up close as possible. Oh yeah, I think they are. So that way when you go to uh, cut out your lining fabric, right, you're not having to take one and then take the other because look, look, they're the same size. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about that. Oh, I am. I'm very happy about that. Oh, turning it like this is not hurting my eye. <laughs> but then this will be the inner liner fabric. And you're thinking, wait, that's kind of peachy. Is it stretchy? It's got a bit of a stretch. At the same time, I have other liner fabrics that do have a stretch. But they're also not a skin tone, a flesh tone which is something I would prefer under this because I'm not putting bright green under this. Um, no, I'm not putting some like bright color under this to, to line it. So, um, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty much happy with how this like cut really quick, having a whole different setup. And, um, quite frankly, the way it is right now, it just goes under the knee. So when I'm done with this, it might come just to mid-knee. Mid-knee. That sounds funny. Mid-knee. <laughs> sounds like a name. Mid-knee. Maybe that is somebody's name out there. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I think this is going to be great to cut the lining. And I have so much liner fabric. I think I might even have a white liner fabric. And if I do, I'll just pull that out and use it. Um, but like I said, I am going to put in pocket. Which pocket do I want? Do I want the kangaroo pocket? Or, you know, that the kangaroo pockets in the front. Or do I want the side pocket, which I'm more used to anyway. Because I'm not going to put the pockets that go right here. I've already thought about that. I've already thought about that. And I'm sorry that the hackers keep pausing this. These people need to get a life. <laughs> they really have no life and they need to get their own. Um, <laughs> so it's like I have other fabrics over here on the chair, my fabric, um, dresser is full. You know what? Let me show you the ottoman I'm working on. I might as well. Like I had to pin the fabric before I can get the staple gun that I need and I had to pin the fabric on but this is going to make a cute ottoman what's in this for the box shape is that very thick box that I got yesterday from Fabric Mart and I'm thinking alright this will be great for just putting my feet up on when I'm sitting in here and then it can just be a display piece with the tray on it if I'm needing that at any point for displaying my stuff from Sun City and just use this for photo ops because who doesn't need something to do their photos for specific things right and then you just make something like this very easy I will link Sun City and there's another channel. Oh, sweetie. I can never pronounce your name. But anyway, I will link her right here. Remember, left is my linking side. And I will put a 
hashtag for all three things fabric mark sun city soaps and candles and my lovely fellow youtuber that shows how to take the most simplest of things like cardboard and trays like this and turn them into something cute now i did do this and it is cute um teenage me like this fill it up and give it as a gift <laughs> Definitely things you can do um, during this whole debauchera of stuff. So anyway, guys, this is a weekend of stuff to do. Keep your mindset busy. Never give up. I could have gave up a long time ago when I was in a wheelchair, but you know, even if I go back to a wheelchair, I can get a shorter table. <laughs> See, I already have these things planned, and I'm not mad at that because I can adjust the foot pedal for my sewing machine to my knee and use that. Or, or if my feet are still able to work, go ahead and just continue to use my foot to sew. And nothing is so going to stop me from bringing anything to you. So what I want you to do, because, you know, everybody should stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, because I need to rest my body, my feet. <laughs> oh, I've been hiding that from you guys. Um... But we're not going to talk about that. So I will see you guys in the next one.